aspects to this type of match, which makes it so interesting, is that it can lead to the formation of unlikely alliances. Just another thing to have to worry about when you're competing against three other superstars all at the same time. Hey, if Seth Rollins is the... Hey, Corey, can I borrow your water bottle? I'll tell you what, Byron, if you really want to stay safe, how about you leave the commentary table for the rest of the night? I'll cover for you. I got this. That's a little extreme. Oh, Corey, he... Close line. Forcefully delivered. Ooh, what impact. Ooh! Lariat! Seth Rollins feeling the effects right now. He looks to be a little surprised right now. Well, oh. I don't expect this to be the nail in the coffin, but it definitely isn't ideal. If he wants to be able to climb the ladder, he's really gonna have to minimize the effects of this attack. Something that is super strong. In a fatal four-way match is that there are no count-outs and no disqualifications. I love the sound of that. Just think of all the possibilities. The match can end up in a brawl in the crowd or on the stage or in the locker room, and there's nothing anyone can do about it. What a hurricanrana! And that's how a superstar takes advantage of their ring position. Such a high ring IQ. Corey, as you mentioned before, I know how fond you are of contests that have the no count out, no disqualification stipulations attached to them. For a superstar competing in a fatal four-way, they have to remember that could mean being the victim of a brutal assault, and they never see it coming. That's exactly right, Michael. Since the fatal four-way is no count at and no disqualification, an attack can come by way of one of the opponents in a match lurking outside the ring, just waiting for the right time to strike or outside interference. And it's all legal. I feel a little silly asking this, given that there is probably no good answer, but Corey, how do you beat Braun Strowman? Well, you're right, Cole. That is a silly question because there's... Monster ...like Braun Strowman. The best advice I would give, I guess, is try to chop him down to size. Oh, <laughs> what a forearm! Kobe Kingston looks stunned by that. I don't think he expected to be oh, in this man. position here. Don't nice. worry, Cole. It's going to take a lot more than this to keep him from climbing that ladder and winning this match. Byron, Corey suggests trying to chop Braun Strowman down to size as a possible strategy against the Monster Among Men. What do you think? Would that strategy work against Strowman? Well, it's certainly worth a shot. If you take out Strowman's legs, then it becomes a mat game. I mean, you're probably going to get crushed, but maybe not as badly. Assault on the lower back. Here comes Undertaker. Seventeen, two thousand seventeen. Byron, that was the night Braun Strowman did one of the most remarkable things I've ever seen when he delivered a ring-crushing superplex to the mighty Big Show. A uh, ring-crushing doesn't even begin to explain it, Michael. The ring literally imploded on impact. It was unlike anything that I've ever, ever seen before. You guys mentioned how the ring collapsed when Strowman superplexed Big Show, which was amazing. But for me, the most amazing part was that Strowman was actually able to get back to his feet just moments afterward. Yeah, the monster among men stood tall while the medical... Side the ring. Here comes Rollins. Highlight reel material coming up. Oh, and the ladder finds the mark. Gonna be tough to bounce back from that one. And he's heading back in.
He's looking to align that ladder up perfectly. Placement is crucial. Nailed it. Here comes Kingston. Kobe Kingston's legs look wobbly. He could be on his way out of this one. At this point, I don't think I like his chances of winning this four-way match. I think this one's over. Man, Kobe could use a big box of bootios or a stack of pancakes to get re-energized. No, you derelict. Kofi Kingston needs adrenaline and a miracle. You gotta believe this one's over. The Undertaker has been a boxing and mixed martial arts enthusiast for decades. Disciplines have had on the Phenom in the way he pummels his opponents when he's competing in a WWE ring. It's difficult to choose which is more lethal, the dead man's strikes or his submission moves. He's looking to get up that ladder, guys. It's a long way. Okay. The Phenom has been seen in the crowd at many high-profile championship matches in boxing and mixed martial arts. It was in the early 2000s when Undertaker began to incorporate elements of the sweet science in the octagon into his offensive arsenal. Yeah, as if the Undertaker won. You know someone has a passion for fighting styles when they go from watching it on television and going to events to actually training in those disciplines. I'm happy to be sitting right here. Thank you very much. He's bringing it back inside the ring now. And it's The Undertaker, able to break free. Can he unhook it? Uh, Cole, I will be shocked if this doesn't end in a crash back down to the mat. Me too! He's not going to go quietly. No superstar worth his salt ever does. Ah, oh, this could be it, guys. And a victory here would be so huge. Big L time. Life changing. Ooh, brutal body shot. With the damage sustained by Undertaker, he could be on his way out. He may very well be running on instinct right now. The dead man is still alive. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. Strowman is taking no prisoners right here. There he goes, crashing to the floor. Here goes The Undertaker with a flying clothesline. The monster among men picks his opponent up. Oh, Braun Strowman slamming into the mat. Wow, we might just be witnessing the end of The Undertaker. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Oh, and the ladder finds the mark. Going to be tough to bounce back from that one. Oh, and the ladder finds the mark. Going to be tough to bounce back from that one. finds the mark. Gonna be tough to bounce back from that one. Deep. It might be cliche, but it's true here. It ain't over till it's over. Spinning kick to the gut. Beautiful side Russian leg sweep. Kobe Kingston is in position. Power. He's always had the ability to take it up a notch. Oh, and the ladder finds the mark. Gonna be tough to bounce back from that one. Over the years, we've come to expect these bursts of greatness from him. Making their way up the ladder right now. This is a nerve-wracking situation. 
Here he goes, guys, looking for the win. I think it's going to happen right now. What is taking so long? Pull it down already. Yeah, hurry, hurry. This might be it. Oh, my. He can win it here, guys. I don't believe it. Just grab it. No time to waste. Got to get it down now. Kofi Kingston is in position. Paradise. Game, set, match. This one is over. I can't believe this one's still going on, especially after the beating that's been delivered tonight. Ooh, what an man. uppercut. When this guy's on, look out. Making the climb here, guys. Oh. Climbing up, guys. Here we go. Oh, boy. Wow. Look at him, guys. He's got a real chance here. I think so, Michael. What's taking so long? That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. Look at the height from the Phenom. No telling how long he'll be able to keep this up. What a stomp. Good grief. Oh, no. He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. What are we going to see here? Something is taking no prisoners right now. That's Falcon Arrow! What's gonna happen here? So nah, don't that do section. this! Oh gosh! Sunset flip! Oh, nasty impact! Looks like he's gonna try to win this thing right here. Yeah, but setting up the ladder is only half the battle, Michael. You know that. Here he comes. You gotta wonder what he's thinking here, guys. I don't know if he is thinking. Now let's take a look back at some of the great action. He's getting after it here. Oh, I can't believe this. And so it goes. Here is your winner, Kofi Kingston. Wow, nicely done here.